In this video, I'll be talking about how to use the Baby Brezza One Step Sterilizer Dryer Advanced. If you haven't seen my original review of how to use the Baby Brezza One Step Sterilizer Dryer Original, you can see that in a card right up there. I will break this down, reassemble it, and show you the different modular configurations of how to use this. This is the lid. In this version, they provide tongs to you. This is the upper basket. This is the accessory tray. And then this is your lower basket. And inside this, you will see the bottle posts. There are six different bottle posts. And then of course, this is the sterilizer base right here. So there are actually more components of this Baby Brezza Sterilizer Dryer Advanced than there are of the sterilizer dryer original. Uh, that's because you have different configurations that you can put this in, but let's just put this back in its original configuration, and then I will run a test with a couple of bottles so that you can see it in action. This gives you really three shelves, one for your bottles, one for like your collars, nipples, lids, another one if you have like breast pump accessories. Start with these posts. They fit right inside these little holes, and I assume that they created this so that you could easily take them out and wash them. We'll go ahead and set that back on top of the sterilizer base. We'll take the accessory tray and we'll just set this right inside here. And as you see here, it just fits right inside pretty nicely, pretty easily. The tongs you can actually leave inside, but we can leave it either inside here or the next one. We can take the upper basket and just set the upper basket on top of there. There's a little place that you can put the tongs. You just put them right around this thing, just put them down inside there, and it just fits inside there nicely. And then you take the lid and just put the lid on top. So if you look at the very front, you will see that when you set this on, there's an arrow like the original sterilizer dryer where you just put the arrow right here and just put the arrow matching the arrow. So that is the configuration for using bottles having this accessory tray and also having a second accessory tray at the top that gives you three different places. So if you have tall bottles, this will not exactly work. You'll have to take the first accessory tray out and then you can use just the upper tray. So let's go ahead and take off the upper basket. We'll do that. We'll pull out the accessory tray and now you can just set the rest of it on top. So you've got the upper basket and the lid. So now, if you have taller bottles here, you can put up to eight bottles inside of this sterilizer dryer. If, especially if you have thinner bottles and you have taller bottles, you can put up to eight. Now another configuration, you may think, okay, this is too much for storage. You don't really wanna use all this stuff. So what you can do instead of, let's say you have some short bottles and you're like, this is just too much. I really would rather not have it so tall. Maybe it doesn't fit under your cabinets on your counters take this off, leave out the upper basket, and then you can put this on, the lid on that is, and now you see it's a bit shorter. So one more thing that you can do is, let's just say you have nipples and collars and things like that, that you wanna sterilize, and maybe you don't wanna sterilize the bottles themselves, or if you just wanna keep it short, maybe this is how you're gonna store it. You take this whole thing off, so you can just set the upper basket on top of this, and then, take the lid and put the lid on top of that. And that will leave you with a place to sterilize. This is a good place to sterilize. Like if you're just doing pacifiers and you don't wanna have this whole thing set up, you could just sterilize pacifiers and things like that inside the sterilizer dryer advanced. So before you turn on the sterilizer dryer advanced, what you need to do is take everything off of here and inside of here, you're going to see a plate. This is a metal, this is your heating plate. There's a fill line that says max here on the side. It goes up to 180 milliliters. And then there's a little section right here. This is where the fan is. And you want to be sure never to get water inside of there or it will short out and it may or may not work after that. So now I have about 180 milliliters of water. And you really should use distilled water. Otherwise the heating plate will start gathering the minerals and stuff from the water and it will start scaling. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in up to the max line. Not gonna go above the max line. All right, that's almost perfect. So it just sits in there like a pool of water, which is kind of weird. It doesn't like have like a little area to contain it, but I think that this makes it a little easier to clean whenever you're cleaning it. 
But let's take this whole thing and put it back on here. So I've got two bottles here. These are shorter bottles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure this for just the shorter bottles. So that means I'm going to take the upper basket out because I don't need the upper basket because I'm only sterilizing two bottles. So I don't really need this. I could keep it in there, but there's no need for the moment. I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off. I'm going to take the accessory tray out first and I'm going to put the bottles in. Let's just go ahead and do that. And you can put it either over or beside the uh, posts that are inside. It really doesn't matter how you configure your bottles inside. But again, if you have wide bottles, you'll get about six in. If you have tall, skinny bottles, you'll get up to, you'll get about eight. Put the accessory tray in, and that fits perfectly with the Tommy T2 bottles we have. I'm gonna put the lids, I'm gonna put the nipples, and the collars up top. And go ahead and put the lid on top. So let me talk about the different buttons here. This is the sterilizer and dryer button, which will sterilize first and then dry. This is the dryer button, which will just dry it. So let's say you wash a bunch of bottles, but you don't necessarily need them sterilized. Maybe when they get a little older, you just hit the fan, you put them in here and hit the fan and that will dry them. And then you have a sterilizer button that will just sterilize them, but not dry them. Don't know why you would do that, but you can do that. The other thing is on the very bottom is that there's a HEPA filter that should be changed about every three months or so. And you can buy these on babybrezza.com. I will go ahead and hit the sterilizer dryer button first. It's gonna come up to 30 minutes. I'm gonna just let this run. It's gonna sterilize first. You'll see steam coming out of this. And then I'm going to just fast forward this whole thing so you can see it all happen in action. All right, so this thing is done now. Let's check out the bottles and the collars and nipples and lids and see if everything is sterilized like it needs to be. Let's see if it is dry. Now still see a little bit of moisture here in the lid. Might wanna run a longer cycle instead of the 30 minute cycle. Maybe you wanna run the 40 mi uh, 45 minute cycle or perhaps the 60 minute cycle. The bottles inside here, the nipples, the lids, they all seem to be pretty dry. The bottles seem to be pretty dry. Yep, they're all pretty dry. Again, there's a little bit of moisture inside the tank here. So I would suggest running again, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, or the 60 minute dry cycle. And inside at the very bottom of this base, their base plate, it has residue on the heating element. And so because there is residue on the heating element, you wanna be sure to take a soft cloth and wipe that down. Now, if I use distilled water, we would not have this residue. And so it is, again, suggested that you use distilled water. Residue comes from the minerals inside the water. All right, so let's put this thing back together. This is the Baby Brezza Sterilizer Dryer Advanced. If you're interested in checking out the Baby Brezza Formula Pro Advanced, you can watch that in one of these end screens right over here. Be sure you subscribe to this channel in a little circle right over here. That way you can check out more cool baby gear and gadgets just for you and your family. Save your time, save your money.